When Naima Kisimakisili became pregnant at 15 years old, she faced disapproval from her parents, siblings, and the community. But despite such challenges, she is attending a private school that, in partnership with the government, helps teenage mothers continue their education. Kisima Kisili says she has no one to take care of her one-year-old daughter while she attends classes, so the child lives with her on the school premises. There is a time when I'm in class. I should go out and check on my child to see whether she eats or not, if she's in a safe environment or otherwise. While I am outside, my friends are in class studying. In Tanzania, some non-governmental and religious institutions provide childcare services, but is often not enough to meet all the young mother's needs. So caring for the children is often left up to the teen's parents or guardians, says Esther Manyanda, a manager at Glad Pre and Primary School in Dodoma. There are many paid daycares, but we wish the government could meet with the owners of these daycares in each region or for the whole of Tanzania and ask them to be able to take the children and raise them in their centers. In 2021, the Tanzanian government lifted a ban that prevented young mothers and pregnant girls from attending school. As a result, more teen moms and pregnant students returned to school with over 1,600 in 2023 alone, according to the Education Department. And the government is trying to do more, collaborating with private organizations to ease the burdens faced by young mothers without daycare. This includes building dormitories and providing sex education and free food. In an address to the parliament in May, Tanzanian Prime Minister Kasim Majaliwa said the government was reviewing its education policy and revising regulations to better explain how students whose studies are interrupted by pregnancy can return to school. We realize that we have truancy, including the problem of pregnancy for girls. Building dormitories will help to ensure that we protect them. So, this strategy we are continuing with. But this stigma remains. Mbua Kitu's granddaughter, Ineza, who provided only her first name for privacy reasons, became pregnant at 15 in 2022. Although she was eager to return to school after giving birth, it wasn't possible. Now, despite the lifting of the school ban for pregnant girls, Kitu had to step in as both he and Ineza, now 17, faced negative attitudes. I couldn't take her to those schools. If you look at the schools we have, stigma is a big problem. People believe she wouldn't be able to continue her studies, even though she says she's ready to go back. And Ineza is not alone. Many teen moms who want to go back to school continue to face obstacles like poverty, social isolation and rejection, and lack of child care. Naima Kisima Kisili hopes that one day pregnancy will no longer prevent young moms from continuing their education. For Juhudi Mari in Dodoma, Tanzania, Salem Solomon, VOA News.